This is a Threadripper 1920X. Now, if you know anything about my channel, you know that in the back corner over there, I have a Threadripper 2920X. So you're probably wondering why I'm excited to get a 1920X, which is a generation before. Well, because it's a Threadripper. And it's brand new in box. The sticker hasn't even been opened. The thing on the back hasn't been turned. And I get to finally unbox one of these. So, on Amazon, there's a seller that I was made aware of by one of my viewers, actually. A seller called AMD Authorized Reseller. And there's all things on Reddit going around, you know. Uh, are they legit? Their prices are too good to be true. I got this for $200. For a 12 core 24 thread CPU. I just I let's just unbox it. I'm so excited. I just I just want to unbox this. And I can finally use that motherboard I've had sitting around. Oh, that first time. I just I've never I've never had the chance to unbox I've unboxed the Thunder for 2920X but I've never I've never even had it's so much bigger in person than you would think it is but like let's just keep going all right so do I do I take this off first oh my. like I've only seen it in, oh what's oh do we get one of our screw we do we get the screwdriver I already have one of them but I have two now yes. I get the Thunderbird screwdriver, we get the AIO mount, which actually, I don't really want to use it, but if I had, no, I can't risk it. I'll put that later, we'll talk think about that. What do we have in here? A disc? Of oh, wow, we, I never got one of these before. Giant sticker and smaller sticker. I do get the small sticker. I, I wasted my last case badge. Uh, I like keeping these. I, I like the stickers. I love them. Of course, we get installation instructions. Uh, not that we're going to need those. We are going to install it in our board today. So, it's like a, it looks like an old CRT monitor, kind of. I know you can, like, shine a flashlight through. All right. Turn to unlock the power. What the? Oh. I see you. Okay, let me not break this thing. Like I, I, every YouTuber I watch dropped it out of this thing. If you don't know, I like I love Threader for just the name. All right. It, okay, so I'm not going to lie, it has like a scuff on it, but besides that, this is a genuine Ryzen, I don't really don't want it to fall. This is a, it looks like a genuine Ryzen Threadripper. Oh, I haven't, I, this thing, I haven't seen the 2920X since I've like built the system, so, oh man, I, I miss these. I love them, I love them so much. They're my favorite high-end desktop platform. Oh, I just touched like 50 of the pins on the back. Or actually, they're just contact pads. That's beautiful. Just look at the back. That's like, it's two dies. Um, I believe. And just, look, it's, I love, I love. Man. If you couldn't tell, I love these CPUs. Alright, we have it all unboxed. I'm going to put this box back together when I have the chance. Let's get it installed in the motherboard. One second. All right, so if you don't know, I've had this, um, it's the, all right, if you don't know, I've had this Azeroth Phantom Gaming Power Supply, Power Supply, just sitting around doing nothing, and I've looked for an excuse to use it forever, and I finally have that excuse. Well, I don't say forever. I bought this because I was planning on getting some kind of Threadripper, and it was on sale. So let's just, so it's what? Open is three, two, one. You have to. This is a Torx screwdriver. It comes with. It's like a specific kind of Torx, and it it has a specific tolerance or whatever it's called. Basically, it can only go like you can only tighten the screws a certain distance where the screwdriver just doesn't let you, which is awesome because you have to screw them in pretty tight to make sure the Threadripper has enough 
mounting pressure. So let's. I wonder if this is. Uh, I don't. Know, I think this is better. It's like I wish I had a cameraman for this. Okay, now one thing I have to watch out for is when putting in this CPU, it doesn't fall out of the retention bracket and smash all the pins. Shout out to Bitwit for doing that. Except I won't be able to get another one of these motherboards. So I actually, I've never used first gen Threadripper, but I, that board that I used in the other PC, it had BIOS flashback so I could flash the BIOS without having a th uh, original Threadripper to update it with. This one doesn't, so I had to get, in some way, shape, or form, either bring it to like a micro center, but I don't even think they carry first gen Threadrippers, um, or I just, I had to get a first gen Threadripper to even if I wanted to update the BIOS. Now this board, it looks a little more bare, but it's got, oh yeah, shoot, you really gotta... Oh, jeez, that's not... Alright. Sometimes you really gotta force it to want to work. See, you can see a screwdriver gives up on screwing it in once you reach where it needs to be. This thing is beautiful. I can't wait to build a system with it. Alright, so... I forgot to buy a cooler. Well, that's, uh, I mean, we can all just admire the beauty. But, yeah, I, um, backplate, SP3. I have forgotten to purchase the, I was, I'm probably going to get the Noctua cooler for it. And uh, I forgot to buy it. So let's talk about the board for like a minute or so. Uh, yes, I am stalling for 10 minutes, full honesty, um, to try to get the extra little pre-rolls and stuff. Okay, so this board, the reason I, I love it, I love the red and, and, and black design. I wish I had, if anyone knows where I can get um, the Phantom version of the NZXT um, H510, I I need it. I want it so bad. It because it follows this phantom. That's the the phantom design, which is the red and silver and, and black. Um, I love boards that have even though it doesn't need it dual eight pin connectors. It just kind of shows that they're just like let's put it on because we can. Also, I could do some like crazy overclocks with this, um, which I might try to do. I might try to push it to its limits because I have an extra. It does have some like sideways connectors and stuff like. That. It's just and it's got stop and start buttons. Um, wow, I can't believe I forgot to buy a cooler. I.O. is pretty basic, but what I love about this board, the I.O., two Ethernet ports. Now, I don't have an actual, like, good, like, I have a network switch, but it's way too loud. I want to get one of those cheap ones that has, like, seven ports, so I could just, like, start plugging in extra connectors for redundancy, but, like, I love that. I love that. This will make a great, like, server or something like that if I want to make a server. It's got... Uh, you know, the typical 8 USB 3.0, the USB 3.1, and then the, the USB 3.1 Type-C, or so, whatever the names are. Basically, the old ones and new ones, USB 3. Then we got, uh, use, yeah, 1 and 2 USB 3.0 headers on the board. I The one thing I don't think we have is USB Type-C, which is actually really disappointing for a Fedder board. Um, yeah, we actually uh, we don't have Type-C, unless I'm dumb. We got our USB 2. What's this button? Oh, clear CMOS. So we do have a clear CMOS button, which is very useful, actually. You you don't know how useful a clear CMOS button is until you actually have to use it. Well, obviously. Uh, let's see. One, two, two 12-volt RGB headers. That's... Okay. So, again, back to my starter PC. I broke the RGB in my cooler. I have the Intermax liquid cooler for that one. Because I plugged... 
the the RGB into the headers on the board, which are 12 volt headers, but it wanted a 5 volt header. No threader per board, no, like except for like a high. They don't use addressable headers. They they have the 12 volt headers almost always. I I just I don't really understand why they would not take that into account. But yeah, it looks like we've only got 12 volt headers on here as well. Not a fan of Azrox software, but maybe this board. I'm just oh man, 1920x. I will get a cooler. I will order it right now. Um, for this motherboard. Um, that's the point. Hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little. I know it was disappointing. I want. I wanted to make a whole system, and then maybe split it up in two parts after. But I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little unboxing, putting it in a board, and installing for ten minutes in the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these kind of videos, why unbox something I'm super excited about? Please leave a like and a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.